welcome back to another episode of the Hands On Podcast Experience, where I will be hands on teaching you, educating you, coaching you in the areas of leadership, uh, career transitions, career growth, and accountability. All right. Today's episode is for leaders, um, and, this, and I'm going to talk about delegation and why it's so important to delegate to your team. Okay, and you could be in. It could be a manager. You could be a team leader. Anyone that's in a leadership role, um, it's important to learn why and how to delegate. Okay, um, I'm gonna give you six reasons why. Six reasons why it's important. Okay, I have two questions that I'm gonna start out with though. The first one is, do you know why delegating is the key to your growth, your team's growth? and the growth and success of your organization, all right? The second question is, why do so many leaders fail to delegate? Why do y'all fail to delegate, right? What are you afraid of, okay? You're trying to grow your team, you're trying to grow yourself, you're trying to grow your company, so what are you afraid of when it comes to delegating, all right? Here's two reasons what they're what what you are afraid of. OK, uh, you hold on to work that you shouldn't be doing out of fear that you will become irrelevant. Right. You, you fear you're going to lose power or lose positioning. OK. And the other reason is a feeling of guilt where you feel like passing your work on to other people um, is a negative. They feel like you don't want to work. OK. And that's not true. All right. When you pass your work on to your team members, that is allowing them to feel that they are valued. OK, and we're going to talk about that. All right. So what is delegation? What is delegation? All right. Delegation is giving authority and responsibility to your team while remaining accountable for the outcome and success. See, when you give that work to your team, you delegate to the different team members and people to do the job that you don't need to be doing, right? You're going to evaluate that. You're going to check their work. You're going to keep up with what they're doing, all right? So this is how you remain accountable and responsibility and responsible for the success of those tasks and of the job, all right? So let's dive right into it. This is the first reason of the six that I'm going to give you of why delegating is so important okay it gives you time and energy to do more important tasks as a leader there's a lot of things you have to do a lot of responsibilities you have you cannot do it all you need time you need energy to be able to do everything else that's more important okay when you delegate things that you don't need to do personally you free up time that's more valuable and requires more expertise and energy from you OK, there's a lot of pressure being a leader. And what you want to do is eliminate as much pressure off yourself as possible so you can stay focused on your job. OK. Uh, the second reason is delegation empowers your team. So important to empower your team. OK. Uh, each member of your team has their own set of skills and expertise in finding the right member or members to do the job, to do the job better than you um, makes for a winning combination and situation. OK, as a leader, you don't want to know everything. If you know everything, then you can't grow. You want to have people on your team that can do certain things a lot better than you. At the end of the day, it makes you look good. All right. It makes you look good. You get the job done correctly and your team members get to grow in their responsibilities and their abilities. OK, you don't want a stale team. You want a team that's consistently looking to grow, looking to get better. All right. Delegation of authority helps develop the capacity of your team and makes them feel valuable to you and the organization. OK, it encourages job. It also encourages job satisfaction through a sense of shared responsibility. OK, so if you're sharing this responsibility with your team, they know when it comes down to getting credit, they're going to get credit for what they're doing. And the credit's going to come from you and the higher ups from you. OK, effective delegation also gives the team the chance to excel in a task 
and give you the pleasure of seeing your team grow and succeed. All right. And this one right here is most important is you also have the opportunity to opportunity to congratulate them for a job well done. Your team needs a pat on the back. All right. They need to know that you are for them. All right. That you're trying to help them succeed. All right. The next uh, reason for delegating is it encourages creativity and innovation. OK. Delegating promotes an inclusive culture where more team members can think about different ways to solve a problem or an issue. All right. You want a culture of inc inclusivity. All right. Where everybody feels that they can add what they bring to the table to help get the job done. All right. A team, not just one person working on a task, provides different points of view. This allows people to this allows people to more easily come up with more creative and unique ways to address the project or task that you're having them to do. OK, new methods of doing a task or activity may also be discovered, leading to increased efficiency and product and productivity of your team. OK, so having your team delegating to your team allows them to get their creative juices flowing. All right. Be innovative. OK. All your team from a cultural standpoint has different things from their background that they can bring to the table. OK. They can add value to whatever it is you're trying to accomplish as a leader. Right. Delegating is delegation is crucial for your own improvement. All right. As a leader, delegating is crucial for your own improvement. OK, as a leader, your team is observing how you get things done. They're watching you. They're seeing how you work because they want to learn. All right. Your ability to work strategically and dedicate time to planning and improving organizational systems are reflected by your ability to lead and delegate to your team. All right. With enough time and energy on your hands, you can spend more time developing your leadership skills. So that's the other part of delegating, right? As a leader, you want to continue to develop your skills. You helping your team develop their abilities and their skills by delegating to them. So now you need to delegate to yourself when it comes to developing your leadership skills. All right. That's got to be a continuous process to make sure that you be the best leader your team, your team and organization needs you to be. All right. Delegate delegation is important for leadership succession. OK, you may not be in that position all the time. You may not be at that company all the time. So when you delegate, you allow your team to step in and acquire other skills that are valuable to you and the organization. OK, delegating may be a, may be a way of training someone else in your company to perform jobs. Right. Because when you're promoted again or leave the company, your team will be paired for continuation of the success that you help start. All right. So you don't want to think about yourself when you're in a leadership position. You want to think about that's that saying goes. You want to leave a situation better than when you took it over. OK, so by delegating to your team and helping them improve, helping them learn how to do the different jobs that you did. OK, it helps put them and the company in position just in case you move up the ladder. All right. Or move to a totally different company. OK, delegation strengthens the organization overall. All right. Delegation strengthens the company overall. Employees who accept authority and accountability during delegation have a better sense of shared responsibility and a stronger commitment to the organization's success. OK, so when your team feels that what they're doing is important to the company's success, they're going to work even harder. They're going to be even more loyal to you as their leader. All right. They're going to look to you on a daily basis to direct them in the way they need to be so they can move up. All right. So leaders, you have to understand you don't have to carry the weight all by yourself. 
Okay, you don't have to carry the weight all by yourself. That's why you have a team. That's why you are a leader. All right, power your team. Delegate to them. Let them know that you think they're important. Let them know that you think they're smart enough to do the job. They're capable of enough to do the job. Okay, so delegating is very, very, very important for you as a leader. All right. One thing that I know and I learned a long time ago about delegating is that it relieved so much stress for me. Okay. I didn't have to wake up going to office every day and feel like, man, if I don't get all these things done, um, it could cost me my job. It could cost me family time. It could cost me free time. All right. So you need all of those things. You need your job. You need your family time. And you need free time for yourself to woosa, all right, and decompress, okay? So make sure if, when you're in a leadership position, you learn how to delegate. You learn how to give your team members tasks, okay? Now, if you're in a leadership position and you don't feel like you can dele delegate because your team members are not at a level from a skill perspective to do the certain jobs that you need them to do, then guess what? It's on you to get them into that position. Bring in the outside coach. Bring in someone that can help them develop the skills that they need to do some of the jobs that you have to do. Okay? So help your team develop their skills. Help them put themselves in great position to someday be in your position. Everyone's not made to be a leader. Right? But there are a lot of people out there that want to be a leader. And there's probably a lot of people on your team that want to be an elite, want to be a leader. They want to be in your position, not take your position, be in your position. Right. There's a difference. OK. Being in your position and taking your position is two different things. All right. And if you're loyal to your team and you help them grow, help them progress, help them be successful. All right. Then you're going to put them in a position to someday be in the same position as you, all right? So make sure that you are delegating to your team, you're helping them grow, and you're helping them develop the leadership skills that you have, all right? The job of a, the job of a leader is to develop future leaders, okay? The more leaders that you have in a company, the more successful the company is going to be. Being a leader doesn't does not necessarily mean you have to be in a leadership position. I always tell people all the time from my sports background that just because you're the captain of the team does not mean you're the leader of the team. There's people on the bench that didn't play much, that didn't play much, were the leaders of the team because they knew what leading was all about. How many points you scored, how many rebounds you uh, grabbed per game. Does that make you a leader? Okay. And I guarantee you, if you check most teams, their leading scores are not their leaders. Their leading rebounders are not their leaders. The MVP of the teams are not their leaders. Okay. You may not even know who, who their leaders are. And here's the thing. If you're a great leader and somebody walks into the room with you and your team, they're not going to know who the leader is. Especially if they see your team doing the job that you've taught them to do. Okay. At the end of the day, everybody on the inside knows who the leader is. They know why a certain team is succeeding. Okay. So just make sure. Don't be afraid to delegate. Don't be afraid to let your team shine ahead of you sometimes. It's okay. You're going to be all right. All right. So thank you for joining me on another episode of the Hands On Experience Podcast. Like I always say, you can contact me in my email at reggie.hanstoncoaching.com. You can go on my website at hanstoncoaching.com. I have a lot of programs on there. The Leadership Program, a Career Growth and a Career Transition Program, an Accountability Program. Okay, so I've got a lot of things that 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 I have in my programs that can help you become a better leader. All right. So don't be afraid to reach out. And also remember, my podcast can be heard on Amazon Music, 
Apple, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google, Anchor, and the video version can be seen on Spotify. All right. So thank you for joining me and I will see you and talk to you and educate you and coach you on the next episode of the Hands On Experience podcast. Thank you.